Continuar a investigação minuciosa, né? Ai. Ah, não ativei, né? Gêmea. Tá lá na vila, né? Tá tranquilo. Tem um. Peguei na vila. We should be close. Let me think. It should be this way. Ilias, what are you doing back here? Nearly sad. Dad. Uh, it's nothing. I was just wondering how everyone was doing. You sure everything's okay? Did they bully you again? It's all right. You can tell us. <laughs> Ilias, <laughs> what's wrong? Uh, I'm fine. Just a minor headache. I haven't been getting much rest lately. <sighs> Back then, I told you not to be a hero. Look how things turned out. I can't imagine how things are going for you at the Academia. We've even been receiving threat letters. You don't have to force yourself to stay at the Academia. You can always come back home. I'm all right. I just need a little rest. Ilias doesn't seem like he wants them to know that he has amnesia. Hey, hey! That's enough, you two. Ilias isn't feeling well. You can keep nagging him once we get home. Ilyas, let's find somewhere to talk. I mind so, Ilyas. How's your headache? It's much better now. Oh, here, it's this month's paycheck. How's everything at home? Same old, same old. It's just that everyone's worried about you. Don't mind their nagging. Deep down, they know that you did the right thing. It's just that after hearing a lot of bad rumors about you and seeing all the threatening letters, well, they're mom and dad. Maybe they just want you to conform a bit more. Conform? Yeah. You don't remember? After the incident, you... Ilias? What's Ele wrong? Não lembra de nada. Oh, I, I, I remember now. Uh, don't worry, I remember now. I always remember. Acting a little weird today, you know? Work. Anyway, I understand your decision. But Mom, Dad and I just want you to be happy. I don't care if you're a hero or not. I just want you to enjoy life and relax more. Your understanding is a great comfort to him. Is it? That's good. Are you a friend of his? Hmm, colega. More so these two. My name is Al Haytham, and this is the Traveler in Paimon. Oh, that rings a bell. At any rate, I feel more at ease knowing that my brother has friends. Would you like to join us for dinner? I just happened to buy some extra food. Sorry, but I still have things I need to take care of. Well, that's a shame. Okay, I'll get going then. Take care of yourself, Elias. Elias. Don't worry. I won't do anything to make you guys worry again. You remember now? Yes, I do. You guys don't coach, coach for this. You know, you don't seem like such a bad person. Is that your way of conveying gratitude? Oh, my apologies. But I meant every word. Remember when I asked at the tavern if we had ever met? I said that there was a sense of familiarity, but what I really meant was a sense of loathing. Loathing? Yeah, but having spent some time with you, I realized that you're not someone I disliked to that extent. Strange, isn't it? Why did I have those thoughts at that time? My strength is that I don't care about what others think. If you could also develop this quality, then you won't be as bothered by complicated social relationships. It'd be great if I could think like you. <laughs> uh, but first things first, I remember where Siraja's cave is now. I'll take you there. 
Really? That's great! Uh, Pyro remembers that you said there are two things that you had to do. We've only checked off one, right? What about the other one? Are we not gonna do that first? There are more important things at hand. We have to stop Siraj before he completes his collective consciousness, or it'll be too late. You're right. Let's head out. Certo. Aonde exatamente? Ó, oh, terminar uma missão. Agora tomou orgulho e preconceito. Já estou lá. Pega esse morre? Não. Quase esconderijo de Siraide, não? Parai. Pirai. Ih, será que é um dungeon? Hum. Acho que é um dungeon, né? This is the place. It's so well hidden. But there's nothing spooky about it. Hmm. Let's go inside and take a look. Oh, now that. Nossa, isso aqui vai demorar, vai ficar de boa. 30 minutinhos, suave. É um cuidado de minutinho nessa verde aqui, hein? Fácil. Opa, a gente tem ele ainda. <risos> Roubado, né? Já você, você. Tá é general líder. Nossa, eu nem queria ser a galera que a gente vai lutar aqui, hein? Eu não queria ser ele. Weird. It's bigger on the inside than Paimon imagined. Are you sure it's still a work in progress? Ilias, do you remember this place? Uh, huh? Come here. Uh, Ilias? Where'd he go? Hmm. <laughs> I don't sense him nearby. Did he get separated from us? Should we wait here or turn around and look for him? There's no need for that. Let's keep moving. Uh, all right. We'll continue in and see if he catches up to us. Se aprofunde na base. boa, tranquilão. Do nada. It's okay, Ilyas. You've done more than enough for me already. I don't understand. Everyone knows that Johnny is stealing your research. Why is no one willing to go public with the truth? He shamelessly used your thesis to send in a project application. And whenever the project hits a wall, he asks you for help. Everyone knows what's going on. Do you know how many people are working on that project? If Johnny was kicked out because of academic fraud, that'd be the end of the project. Too many people would be affected. But he's obviously taking advantage of you! He throws you the hardest work, and after you're done pulling all-nighters, he struts around with your research data and takes credit for it. That's not right! Why are you putting up with this? A lot of people warn me to not say anything. And I think they have a point. This is just how things are. All I want is to graduate without any problems. <sighs> It's okay. He's at least paying me. Half a year of your time and effort. Countless all-nighters and casual threats and insults. All for a measly 20,000 water. mora. He's treating people like cattle. Enough. It's fine. I just need to suck it up and get it done. Esteve uma lembrança de alguém? Eu tive no caso, né? What's the matter? Eu acho que eu tive um vislumbre, né, do passado de Elias. You could read minds this whole time and you never told Paimon? Of course not. I was also able to see those memories just now. They were probably the ones that leaked out while Ilios was connecting to the collective consciousness. Connecting... Collective 
consciousness. It's clear that this place isn't a work in progress. The hive has long been finished. The Collective Consciousness project is already complete, and Ilias is now returning to the Collective. Not entirely. Keep walking and you'll see why. Coloque no portão. Ok. Brincadeira. Então. Por que tem dois saídas, né? Não sei. Essa é a chave. Ah, agora entendi porque tem dois portão. Posso pegar a chave? <risos> Passa pra cá. Vem, cara. Tá fácil, né? Ih, não queria ser esses monstros aqui, não, velho. É muito forte ele, hein? Forte e rápido. Eu sei de ficar brincando. Já sei. Peguei isso, ó. Que meu mouse ficou tão pesado do nada. Toma. Vários cortes rápidos. Qual é esse que até fato que ele tá? Ah, nessa. Ele tá lento. Ah, o dedo tá meio pra esse. Pensei, né? Pegou a menarida. A menarida já botei nível 10, né? Ao máximo. É que culpar isso aqui. Tá nível 10 todo. It's completely different from what Ilya said. This place looks like it's been done for a while. Pode me levar? Me levando, né? Tem um carinha ali, ó. Contributing to the collective by only thinking to your strengths. How easy. Subir? Ah, tem que subir, né? O que esse aqui vai falar? Oh, Haytham. Just thinking of that name fills me with hatred. We must get rid of him. Tô bem. Todo mundo tá reclamando. Cadê o outro que tinha que passar? Quem será? Não, ele é aqui já é chegado, né? Tem um caminhão ali, tá vendo? Tá vendo aqui ali? Tô vendo, né? Me solta. Obrigado. Mais uma lembrança. An entire year's worth of work down the drain. And for what? Your reputation? Do you have any idea how many people you brought down? You could have played hero any time. So why couldn't you have waited until the project was complete? I don't understand what you guys are saying. Are you saying you don't care that Raju jumped to his death? It's a shame. What happened to him? I, I thought he was stronger than that. Everyone has been working hard to complete the project. He could have endured for a bit longer. But he chose now of all times to... In any case, we're done with you. Because of your recklessness, the Matra are putting Johnny on trial. Oh, this project is done for. None of this affects you at all. But do you know how many people, myself included, needed this project to complete their studies? 
Now our futures are up in the air. If worst comes to pass, we might not be able to graduate. Do you understand now? I'm sorry. There's no need for an apology. It's not like I'll accept it anyway. You'll pay for this. Ela jogou ele antes, agora. E sabe toda a verdade. Hey, you're blinking out again. Elias. Don't jump to conclusions just yet. Save your words for when we see him. Boa tarde, esse objetivo. Ah, vamos brincar de tempo de spot. Ah. Sobe. Peguei. Tem uma coisa aqui, velho. Tem nada. Se eu pego mais uma, dá pra pegar? Dois. Tem uma coisa aqui. Ó, ah, tem um carinha dormindo aqui, né? Sinal de duas mesmo? Buguei. Ok. Que os dois isso aqui? É dois lá na frente, é um. Just in case, why don't we take both keys with us? Isso lá de novo, daquele. Né? Pá. Deixa eu pegar isso aqui. A gente vai ter que ficar usando esse doido mesmo, ó. Se não, se não chegar perto, pode quebrar. Pega! Grama. Ah, não dá não. Não precisava. Mais uma lembrança. Ah, Elias, isso é tudo muito estranho. Há realmente nenhuma research group que vai te levar? Well, to pass this course, you must complete a paper with other researchers. I know you're a hero for fighting academic fraud, but well, we can't make exceptions for heroes now, can we? Maybe you should try to improve your relationship with the other researchers. Huh? Getting a reputation for being too unconventional will not stand you in good stead in the long run. I understand. <sighs> You seem troubled. Who are you? Ah, where are my manners? My name is Sarash. It's Sarash. 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 I've heard of you before. Do you need something from me? The world hates people who don't fit in. I imagine you've had your fair share of trouble. After you reported Johnny for academic fraud, you were ostracized. And shunned. Even your family can't understand your actions. However, I'm working on some research that will help you merge into a collective. That way, your life won't be so dolorous. How about it? Wanna have a go? What? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. What did you see? Parar de convencer Elias de se juntar a comer, né? Elias não foi forçado. Porque, de, olha ali, e ela são boys, né? Ah, são boys, ele não vai nem aguentar, vai tomar dois tapas, vai morrer. Você que vai aparecer aqui, né? You've come. I intentionally slowed my integration into the collective consciousness because I wanted to see you one last time as Ilias. And I wanted to apologize to you as him. It was only at Gondarvaville that the second thing I must do occurred to me. 
bring you all here. To throw off the Matra and bring Alhatham to the Hive. That was my task as Siraj number 36. You, you were already Siraj number 36? But you passed the Matra's lie detector test! Yes. I truly did forget many things during that time, even my identity and assigned responsibilities. However, it's not that I got scared and forgot. I chose to delete those memories. It's difficult to fool Alhatham, so I had to create the perfect guise for myself. And the best guise is when you believe your own lies. Correct. I only told you that the hive was incomplete because I had deleted my memories of its completion. It was finished a long time ago. Before I left, I was already living as number 36. Now, I choose to return to that identity. Only here can I be truly free. That's all I wanted to say. After I enter this room, my consciousness will merge back into the collective. And so, this is goodbye. Is this your decision? <sighs> yeah, the person we know is Ilyas, not Siraj number 36. The outside world is painful sometimes, but Paima doesn't think that's a reason to run away. Do you need more time to consider, Ilyas? That is Siraj. See? So you hey, are Giga Jerk! Giga Jerk? Huh, how bold of you. Have I done something to offend you? You! I modified Akasha terminals to allow users to share memories and emotions. Then, I recruited researchers from the academia to build a collective consciousness. I assigned numbers to everyone and divided the experiment's tasks amongst themselves. Here, people can live easily and happily without needing to exercise complex mental thought. This is what they have chosen. All I've done is fulfill Isso their wishes. Você desse desejo. You're just trying to justify yourself. Then I ask you, what's the difference between here and the outside? There are researchers at the academia who engage in dangerous research in extreme environments while others become idle and listless. People are so obsessed with collective will that even those on the fringes will attempt to fit in after suffering setbacks. Isn't that right, Elias? <laughs> There's no yeah, way to deny this. As it is fact, it is natural for social creatures to congregate together. And the terminus of conformity is a collective consciousness through which even an ordinary bee colony can become a powerful swarm. Replace the bees with humans. And this model becomes even more potent. Welcome to the hive, Alhatham. You once arrogantly denied the merits of this project before the Grand Sage. A few simple words from you, and my research was consigned to nothingness. Of course, I'm well aware that you don't care about any of this. You don't care about the pain of others. But I, didn't give up. I made my thesis into reality. When we arrived, I noticed many empty rooms in the hive. Oh, you noticed that? <laughs> then can you guess where their inhabitants are? The answer is the academia. They're executing another phase of the plan. The plan to install me as a sage. The collective consciousness links all of us into a single mind, showcasing our individual strengths as we work together. We are able to execute complex undertakings while instantaneously modifying our strategies in response to unexpected situations. Everything has been proceeding smoothly. You are our biggest obstacle. With you out of the way, I'll use my growing influence to turn the collective consciousness into a legitimate city. The project will snowball until ultimately everyone will be part of my hive. I... No. The hive will be in control. 
and it will lead the academia towards a new future. We won't let you do this! What can you achieve with mere words? You weren't even able to change Ilyas's mind. Return to the hive, number 36. Ele já botou óculos, yes. ó. Wait! Don't go back! Uh, look! There are lots of people out there worried about you. And you aren't an outcast. Aren't we your friends? Uh, That's easy for you to say, given that you're travelers. Will you two continue to stay at the academia? When you leave, tragedy will repeat itself. Return number 36. You know as well as I do that comforting words don't make life any easier. Ilias, why? You two are just as arrogant as all hate them. You think that everyone should be like you and live according to their own truths. But you don't realize that most people simply want easy lives. Tá, né? Isso aqui vai ficar em Mits, esse diálogo. Eu ia saber quem tá nessa deck aqui, ia ser Prita Mini. Vamos estar no próximo, galera. Provavelmente vai ter uma luta agora.